Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Pablo, and this is my new series, Aesthetic Analysis, where I analyze various graphic design aesthetics and share my opinions on them. Today we will be talking about Frutiger Arrow. Frutiger Arrow is a form of 3D design that combines futurism with nature. It was meant to show a bright and hopeful utopian future. Common elements of Frutiger Arrow include, but are not limited to, cityscapes, grass, flowing water, brightly colored objects, glossy textures, and bouquet nature photography. Some Frutiger Arrow may also combine auroras or celestial objects out in space. This aesthetic was most prevalent from 2004 to 2013, and was made to help new users of the internet and computers get better acquainted with the new technology. It used familiar looking imagery for people to interact with. This way of introducing technology to people is called humanism. Frutiger Arrow was everywhere, on packaging, in advertisements, graphic designs in general, and even interior design. It's most well recognized because of graphical user interfaces on operating systems though. The Arrow part of the name actually derives from the Windows Arrow theme, the UI for Windows Vista and 7. Other interfaces that use the aesthetic are Aqua on Mac and Gnome on Debian. Frutiger Arrow is often confused and overlaps with other aesthetics. Dimensional design is a general term used to describe graphic design elements with three-dimensional effects. Both of these aesthetics are also confused with skeomorphism. Skeomorphic designs mimic real-world objects and have realistic textures that often look like wood or metal. All of these aesthetics were combined together on user interfaces though, so it makes sense why people mix them up. A predecessor to it is Y2K Futurism, which evolved into Arrow by the mid-2000s. It shared similar 3D designs and an optimism for the future. Elements of both Y2K and Frutiger Arrow are present in Vaporwave as well. A couple of subgenres of Frutiger Arrow are Frutiger Metro and Frutiger Eco. Frutiger Metro consists of geometric vector bloom graphics. Frutiger Eco is virtue signaling by companies, pretending they care about the environment. It's still a very nice looking aesthetic though. <laughs> oh my god, did I actually put that in the script? We are currently living in the future these aesthetics hope for, and it's a lot grimmer than we thought. The world is far off from any sort of utopia, and technology kind of reflects that. Frutiger Arrow has fallen out of use and into obscurity, being replaced by flat minimalist designs that every corporate entity uses. Minimalism of this variety is, in my opinion, ugly and uninteresting. It lacks character, and isn't as cozy or as comfortable to look at, even if whatever online service you're using has a dark mode. There are more modern varieties of skeomorphism now, like neomorphism, claymorphism, glassmorphism, and pearlmorphism. While they have 3D design, the morphism part is lost. These aesthetics don't have realistic textures, and often don't even mimic real-world objects. Frutiger Arrow also isn't present in design at all. Now, some dimensional designs from the 2000s are ugly and cheap looking. However, I think that with modern technology, higher quality images can be created that are still true Frutiger Arrow and skeomorphism. I've seen some people do it already. Frutiger Arrow's underground community is growing, and if you're interested, you should inform others about this aesthetic. Maybe we can help stop everything from becoming flat and oversimplified, or at the very least, find more appreciation for dimensional designs like this. What do you think of Frutiger Arrow? Discuss it in the comments below. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also check out my other socials, just go to the link tree URL in the description. My name is Pablo, and I am signing off.